We found out who makes Walmart's new gateway laptops, and it's bad news. We'll <laughs> I never expected guesses. it to be good news. One hint, extra virgin olive oil. So the mafia? I believe it's the mafia. <laughs> it's uh, the Corleone family yeah, is making gateway laptops. Reference to the Costa Nox or whatever it's called, uh, Costa Nostra? Is that what it's Yeah. Called? Yeah. All right, so, Don, those were our guesses. Are we, are we right? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. No. So, uh, so anyhow, um, <laughs> so I'm going to get my mind right. I like how that got you. There was a time, <laughs> right, back in probably, probably like 1995 through 2000 where Gateway made like the highest quality – home PCs and even business PCs, right? You know, people would get the box with the cow print on it. And yeah, that's and how you know it's quality. They, yeah, they were they were considered the best. If you, you know, money was no object, you wanted the best computer, you'd buy a gateway. And the brand kind of collapsed over the years, whereas like Dell continued to grow, gateway did not. Uh, and years ago, they were acquired by Acer. Uh, Acer, which was known for making cheap computers, acquired the gateway brand. Well, the brand kind of disappeared for a long time. I haven't seen them. And Walmart recently relaunched a series of laptops with the Gateway brand on them. So there was some debate. Hey, is this going to be quality computing again? Are they going to try and get this brand to be what it what it could have been? Uh, and the short answer is basically no. Uh, a company called Evo, E-V-O-O. So that's, I guess, the extra virgin olive oil reference. Ah. Uh, uh. So Evo is making these. And uh, Ars Technica done a review on them last year. And they're absolute pieces of trash. <laughs> and so uh, I think that the new gateway is going to be like the old Packard Bell. Um, and so these are junk. So if you are waxing nostalgic and remembering your gateway and you see one of these things available... Resist the temptation and don't buy it. The Packard Bell was actually my first, uh, my family's first computer. For a lot of people, it was. Yeah, yeah. that's a great one. I'm waiting for the Tandy uh, <laughs> to be re-released. It's funny. I remember, like, in the you know mid to late '90s, I guess it was. I would get that a gateway catalog in the mail and just be drooling over mm-hmm. these machines like oh man this is so amazing oh look at the specs on this thing as they they were super awesome and it just like lit that fire underneath me to want to really be a part of it or whatever and now it's like this is the worst garbage you could buy you know yep. and for some reason they make extra virgin olive, olive oil to go with it it's a weird company but hey you gotta yeah. diversify i, I guess. was saying i read this entire article and i did not get the Extra virgin olive oil E-V-O. reference. It, it was a little oh, bit of a stretch. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Burger, uh, we're, I was thinking of brands of extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. For some yeah. reason, I just imagine gateway computers being assembled next to cold press virgin <laughs> olive oil, like giant like food augers, and they're like, all right, Bill, bring over the, the CPUs. we got to put them in yeah. while the, the olive oil is cooking. That's right. It's what we're using for thermal paste. Well, yeah, the, the, the Corleone company, wasn't it Genco? Genco olive oil? Was it Genco. Was. I think that's what it was. Was that what they did? Yeah, that was the, that, that was the front was the olive oil annoying. company. Yeah. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there. <laughs>